Hi, I'm Premium Gary, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This episode, it's a hot summer day here in Michigan. We're going to put away the trains and go sailing. We just got done uh, removing the old uh, radio out of this boat. I picked up a uh, new radio. It's a Horizon product at my local hobby shop, uh, Carlton Hobbies in Waterford, Michigan. Uh, I got this uh, battery holder and one servo. The one servo runs the rudder, and that's basically all you need to do. You set the jib in the main, and away you go sailing. So uh, let's put this all together. I'll take you down to my local lake, which is about one block from the uh, train room, and we'll go sailing on an inland lake. So all aboard for a sailboat adventure with Train Room Gary. Take it away, Train Room Gary. All right, this is a uh, three-channel radio, and it's proportional. It's on 2.4 megahertz, which is illegal for, by today's uh, radio standards. One for top of servo and a battery pack. Let's unbox it and see if it works. All right, got it out of the box. In the box is the uh, transmitter. The receiver is really small. Instruction manu manual, of course, batteries not included. These batteries will go in the holder for the boat and the base of the uh, transmitter is a battery holder and of course the Vataba servo. Here's a close up of the uh, receiver. Uh, one plug is for the uh, battery pack, other three are one for each channel. And the handle on the receiver, it takes uh, four AA batteries and I'm using a uh, Duracell. I right, just put uh, four AA batteries in the battery pack for the boat. All right, I got the uh, orange plug into the B. B stands for battery pack. Over here is channel one. Channel one is for the uh, steering mechanism, which would be the rudder in our case. Channel two, we won't be using. That would be for uh, an RC car, the throttle. And the third channel would be an auxiliary channel. All right, I have the battery plugged into the uh, receiver. Got the servo plugged in. Now I'm going to turn on the transmitter and watch there. You'll see a little red light come on, telling us that it has now found the receiver. And it's on. We'll turn the wheel, and you can see the servos moving. So we're ready to go. There's a step called binding where you got to push a little button here. But in my case, it came from the factory already bound to this receiver, to this transmitter, so we can skip that step. It wasn't binding, you gotta push a little teeny button here, hold it for a second, and that will then bind this receiver to this transmitter. On the uh, back of the transmitter, there's a servo reversing switch, for example. I wanna slide this thing over, and I turn the wheel to the right, you see how it turns this direction to the right. If I flip that switch, it'll give me reverse servo, I'll turn to the right and it goes the other direction. So you can set the servo up to go either way in the in the uh, boat, whether it be left hand or right hand rotation, but just in the back of it using the uh, servo reversing switch. This is a pretty nice setup. One more button I want to point out is right here is the trim. So the, the boat's out in the water, we can trim the servo by turning this little knob here. You see how it, you can change, move it just a little bit. So the boat isn't trekking properly, we can fine tune it once in the water, what happened you know, to bring the boat back to the dock. So really, I'm really impressed with this radio. This is as good as a Lionel system, or maybe even MTH. All right now we're inside the pilot house. You can see the red light here on the receiver, the servo for the rudder, the battery pack. This rubber band holds the top on for the pilot house. And this is where we let the line out for the main sail. Let's take a look at the servo moving. That thing checks out, man. Looking good. All right, the name of this uh, boat is uh, Trade Winds from Newport. I'll check out the rudder. It will give it a left, a right, and you can see it works pretty good. And that's it. Let's drop it in the water. West Acres Beach and Boat Ramp, established in 1936. All right, we're down at the boat ramp. And we are on the north shores of Middle Straits Lake. 
Oh, here's a sailboat. Let's put it in the water. All right, we're on the uh, boat dock. Let's put it in the water. Keep it in close and see how it handles. Got a slight breeze today. The sun is just coming up. It's about, well, it's about 9.30 a.m. on a weekday, so it's not as crowded as it would be on the weekend. This is train room Pam saying, ahoy mate. <laughs>